Here we go. Getting some legacy in. Oh, <laughs> one card missing. All right. Trying to piece this together real quick. I think, especially on the mulligan, I'm supposed to keep this, but there is a pretty hefty downside to keeping it. You're you see, you're not supposed to keep a hand with this deck if there's not a path to victory. And there's not a path to victory in this one. That's a little unfortunate. Let's uh, make, your, make you a green deck as well. Make your color green. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to keep this one. But I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Let's actually, actually, this is important. Let's see who's on the play and who's on the draw. This is perhaps one time when I would not want to be on the winning side. But it's okay. It's okay. We're going to keep. What do you say, mate? The wrong draw. You are indeed. Uh, yeah, given the scry. All right, so I will pass the turn. Okay. Yep. Not a thing being played yet. We're getting there, but not yet. Go ahead. Oh, God. <laughs> you and me both. Well, if I don't do something, then I'm going to have to discard here. So, Chrome Mox, we're going to drop. A pyretic ritual so that it makes red. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pass the turn. Go ahead. Oh, God. Well, let's take a look at your hand and see what we're working with. Do, 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 do. I mean, obviously, no lands. <laughs> Triple wirewood symbiote. And with, so if he ever gets a land, he's going to go straight from one mana to two mana to three mana. One, zero lands to one land to two lands, that's what I mean to say, because Green Sun will get dry at Arbor. And then he'll be off to the races, if he can get that land. And that's the trick, that's the kicker. Quadruple Wirewood Symbiote. It might feel like the best card in the deck. This is not an instance where it feels like the best card, by any stretch of the imagination. So, we're going to pass the turn. Chase. Yeah. Ooh. We're going to play a Lotus Petal and pass the turn. It was not a land. I did, I did see, kind of, that it was not a land. Okay. Um, pop it for green, tinderball, pass turn. Just maintaining myself at seven cards in hand, preparing for that fateful turn. Uh -huh. Oh god, no, not the green sun zenith. Legitimately, why the green sun zenith? I, I, I kind of want to know, but I guess we'll get there. Well, now that we're at a spot where we can do this, we're going to actually pop the tinder wall for red red, mm -hmm. mana morphos, making red green, draw a card. My god, when that turn comes, it will be huge. But until then, I do have eight cards at hand. Mm hmm. I don't really know. 
So this very much would not have worked except that we're both getting screwed by right here by our hand. So it's kind of a matter of which one of us is going to go off first. Uh, right of Flame is what I'll drop. I'm going to pay the mana because why not, but whatever, pass turn. There's a very technical explanation, but whatever. Oh, and he dropped the green sun zenith too. Hey, there it is. Still might have kept it. Okay, so now we're about to have a clock. So green sun, we're going to shuffle it back in, get a triad arbor, and going to buy you. Okay, cool. Somewhere in there. Okay. Yeah, the deck usually runs, what, two dried arbors, I think? Alright. So now I actually do have to do something, so... Lotus... <laughs> Lotus Petal, past turn. Uh-oh. I don't think I have to just yet. Welcome to the slowest game of these two decks you've ever seen in your life. There's a wire one. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. I'll move to discard. Mm -hmm. Elvish Spirit Guide, and then I'll pass the turn. I'm gonna check my sideboard real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Yep, that's a thing. Three. Um, I better get a move on. Bounce. Mm hmm. On top. Land. Um. There you are. One. Okay. Four. Uh, natural work. Yep. Natural order resolves. And which creature did you sack, by the way? Dry Arbor. Yep, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Alright, Crater Huff. Price check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm -hmm. Alright, so plus 6, plus 6. Hey there. Hey there. Bounce. On top. Yep. That's game. That'll do it. Because I can count. Okay, cool. Uh, unfortunately, I had all the gas I needed. I just didn't have a means. To, I didn't have an end to that means. Yep. So the next card still doesn't get me there. Wow, dude. I needed quite some time. Yeah, I just drew the wrong side of my deck. It happens. Here you go. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, here we are. Alright. Belcher Cult, here we go. Time to plan out our hand, see what we have going on. I'll keep. I will think for a second. Ooh. I'll keep because I have to, I think. Alright. Time to go off. Land Grant, go and get me the one land in this deck. The one, the only. And his name is Tiger. Alright. Da, 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 da. 
Right, <laughs> it was the next card. Don't you just love when that happens? The odds being 1 in 53. Alright. Here we go. Obvious Taiga play is obvious. We're gonna get Taxi and Probu. Okay, so land Green Sun, of course, get our Dried Arbor. Yeah, this is looking fun. Alright. No mana right now. Two, three, four. Mmm. Maybe that is what I'm supposed to do. Okay, that is. Two mana. Mm -hmm. Three mana. Four mana. Or not four mana, but still three mana. Imprint Burning Wish. Chrome Mox, imprint nothing. Spend four mana, empty the warren. So price check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have 14 goblins out on the field. And then I will pass the turn. Mm -hmm. fun to that. Yeah, no, no. Alright, game three. <laughs> that was a really fun interactive game of magic. Where both players really got to play their hearts out. Now that you're on the play, though, I have to worry about hand attack spells like Thought Seize, Inquo, and Cabal Therapy. Although, in all likelihood, Thought Seize and Cabal Therapy. Cabal Therapy is super good, actually, in Elves. It's one of the best Cabal Therapy decks that I know. Conrad, would you please stop knocking the tripod this way and that? Please, dog? I, appre I would appreciate that. Actual dog. Mm, nope. Alright, well let me make sure I put this up the right way. <clears throat> Let's see what I have going on here. Ooh. Um, so one, two, three, five, but nothing as a payoff. I think I still have to keep it. I think I still have to keep it. We're gonna risk another just doesn't draw into anything game, I suppose. Alright, see what six brings you, my friend. Woo! Robbie, watch me win on turn one by doing absolutely nothing. Thinning. Yay! We're gonna go get Taiga. No, I have fight, but I have nothing standard or within standard. Hope this isn't standard. Not even close, my friends. This is a uh, very, very silly. Because I have my Nissa deck. Fair enough. That is, that is fair. Alas, this is one where we're casting cards that were printed back in 1993. Come here. That's mine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Sweet dogs. However, I think I'm actually going to pass the turn. Thank you. You haven't really put a clock on me just yet. Big, big, big. Oh, green scissor. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, get another dried arbor. Exactly right. Fair enough. <laughs> I do that with more frequency than I'd like to admit. Alright. I know where the dried harbors are. 
Think straight. Nice. Nice. You're going to play out a pedal. And then we're actually going to pop the pedal here. Manamorphose, red green. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pass the turn. Because that's what you want to see. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? <laughs> yep, results. My only counter spell in this deck is gutter or spots. You're fine. <laughs> You can go off now. Karen Ranger. Yep. Sure. Um, balance untap. Untap target creature, which is a Dryad Arbor. Very good. Um, Burst Lone Ranger. Resolves, draw a card. Draw. Land. Yep. Um, tap. Heritage Druid. Ooh, okay. Draw. This is quite the turn. I better find something next turn, or I'm I'm a goner. Three. Yep. Uh, two bit for visionary. Or you could just do me in this turn. Control two. Um, down to one. Yep. One mana, senor. Although you have a birch lore ranger out, so if you can play another. No, no. Yep. There we go. Draw. And then tap them both for birch lore. Ooh. That's right. Yep. Draw. Um, Why am I helping my opponent out on this <laughs> combo turn? <laughs> I am trying to be a good guy, uh, that's why. Two. No, so. Double metal. Yikes. You have to call Teamworks right makes here. the dream. <laughs> oh, is that all? Yeah. <laughs> hey, we got something. All right, think, Jay, think. Time to see if you know this deck well enough. One. Okay, so. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, six. Sideboard. And you can't play this, because you don't have the blue mana. Alright. There are a number of ways I can do this. I can either win, or not let you win. If I try to win, I only have a chance to do it. How many cards do you have in hand? It's like six or something? Six? Six, yeah. Let me see your creature assortment again, please. It's Kyrian Ranger, Birch Lore, Visionary, Heritage Druid, Death Rite Shaman. I think what I'm supposed to do here is not let you win. Specifically, not let you win. So, we're going to go Tender Wall, Pop It, Desperate, and Tyretic. So I have four mana. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast a Burning Wish, which will exile itself. I'm going to go get a Pyroclasm, and Pyroclasm your board. And your Dryad Arbor, too. And your little dog, too! So I have not won, but I have not lost yet. And. That is a victory in my book. And then I'll pass the turn, as he has six cards in hand. Seven cards in hand. So he can rebuild from here. I have bought myself approximately three turns. Approximately? Yeah, there's a visionary. Two turns, actually. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Mm. 
I could have tried to win, but I don't think I would have been able to. I think you would have gotten me that turn if I had not done the Pyroclasm play. Shaman is good. <laughs> Shaman is good. Fetch? Is that your first time fetching this game? I think it yes. is, actually. Yep, yeah, it is. Lo and behold, the first damage taken this game. Not the last. No. So Robbie, this is what we like to call super happy fun times. Uh, either I'm about to go off and beat him in one turn, or he's about to go off and beat me in one turn. In all likelihood, I'm gonna guess him. Can we go ahead? I think it's about to be him. Go ahead. I need my next card to be Fire, also known as Goblin Charbelcher. And if it's Charbelcher, I win. Literally at any point, if it's Charbelcher, I win. But he's actually playing magic. Yeah, I'm not. Well, that's game. I can count. They're all about to get plus four plus four. That's fifteen or that's not four. Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is fifteen, just right here. One, 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 plus four, plus four, plus four, plus the crater hoof. What's the next card? Empty the Warrens, why? I was actually thinking about grabbing Gaddock Teague. Yeah, that's fair. Gaddock Teague would just end me right there. Gaddock Teague would do me in. I could not beat a resolved Gaddock Teague. No, um, this is what I was going for. Like, I wanted to win without doing damage to you. <laughs> yeah. I suppose I could go on the Simeon Spirit Guide beatdown plan, but that's not really a thing. And I've already cast my Pyroclasm, so that's gone. Yeah. That's my answer to Gaddick T, and it's gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was cool. Alright, so that's, a, that's fun. I did zero sideboarding because Charbelcher does zero sideboarding. <laughs> often. Not always. That was often. my sideboard. Yep. That, those are all you need. <laughs> all you need is love. <laughs> Natural order for Elder Scale so I don't die. <laughs> is, uh, that's pretty legit, so I hear. Uh, yeah, Pyroclasm came out, but that's really it. That's actual, factual it. 